Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix an error that is 3D Builder couldn't load that and the error code is 0x8000FFFF. So if you're receiving this error code, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run the Windows app troubleshooter. For this, go to the start menu, then click on the settings icon and then go to update and security and then click on troubleshoot. Click on additional troubleshooter scroll down here you can see windows store apps click on run the troubleshooter and once the troubleshoot is complete restart your computer and then check now still you are receiving the error message in that case you can go ahead and try to update the application from microsoft store so open microsoft microsoft store on your computer on the top right here you can see three dots click on it then click on download and updates and then you will see get updates option so click on get update now, if there is any update for 3D Builder, it will go ahead and update this 3D Builder and then you can go ahead and check. So click on get updates and still you are facing the error message. In that case, you can go ahead and update your Windows 10. So go to the start menu, then click on settings and then click on update and security and then click on check for update. And once the update is installed, restart your computer and then check the application. Now, the next step is to reset the 3D Builder app for this. Go to the, st uh, go to the settings and then click on apps now over here you can go ahead and find 3d builder so go ahead and type in 3d builder over here and then click on 3d builder and then click on advanced options scroll down here you can see the reset option click on reset reset and after the reset you can go ahead and try to use the application now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall 3d builder apps so if that does not resolve the problem you can go ahead and uninstall 3d so for this go to the start menu and then open windows 10 settings once again go to apps and again in the search box you can go ahead and find 3d builder then click on it then click on uninstall and after you uninstall restart your computer and after the system restart open microsoft store now in the search box you can go ahead and type in 3d builder and then click on 3d builder and you can go ahead and install the 3d builder app once again from here now it has been noticed that if your texture which you are using in 3d builder app has any kind of special character like hyphen underscore at the rate so if texture has any kind of special character then people are facing this error message so try to make sure that the texture have very short name and does not have any special character. So this has worked for many users. So it might work for you. Now, in case if nothing is working, you can go ahead and use Ultimaker Cura software, which is a free 3D printing software, which can import the broken 3MF files from 3D Builder. And then it can go ahead and fix them during the export. So many people are using this software so you can go ahead and use this this is a third party application so you can go ahead and download it for free this is a free software and that should go ahead and help you to continue the work so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel